Uh, the last one. Uh, thanks for uh, for the presentation. Thanks for Ida. Thanks for Francis and Joseph. Uh, the authors of this presentation, they are very glad to be here to share our product, Charles, and being a one of the two local vendors. Okay, give me a little bit time to introduce ourselves. Uh, our company actually uh, is the uh, oil part. We are going to the city holding one of this company in Hong Kong, and the city holding also owns another company called WT Architect. It's a very famous architect in Hong Kong. And uh, we are the digital arm of the group, We're having a group to do the digital transformation for the developer, architect, and the contractor. We also work very closely with the uh, local partner like Huawei, Autodesk, HP, and also university and some uh, organization in order to find how the data can help us to be in a green community, how the data can the future be, become a um, carbon <coughs> calculation based. So uh, we came out of a Victor uh, area digital company. Uh, actually, we found this game in Hong Kong on uh, 2010. And luckily, uh, we have been in Beijing and we have some uh, transaction with the uh, capital market. And then we back to prepare again. So we found the downtown office in uh, Seven and Center in Tuolwen Now we just have a new office in Zhongshan and Fosan. Um, luckily, since 10 years, we spent from uh, 40 to percent of our group to now is a uh, 400 person. And uh, we're still very, very young. Average age of our company is uh, 28 years old. And uh, in the past 10 years, 11 years actually, we completed 10 therapy project, half in Hong Kong and half in the mainland China and other regions. And also 490 projects because we just acquired an IT company uh, here. So, uh, this some sort. I think in the coming future, uh, CIC will have a new set for CDD. Uh, we love to apply and compile that. So, uh, we are the uh, high tech firm in China and also we compile the uh, ISO 19650 uh, certification and also we are the uh, government uh, programmer, uh, service programmer. So, for CDE, actually, we developed CDE maybe um, eight years ago. During that time, we need to have a system to replace FTP. So we found some central server that that time we call it Bingo. But uh, due to the capitalization works, so uh, we started product to the another uh, listed company in Shenzhen. So we, we developed the system again, we fought again on uh, 2017. That is the Charles. Okay. So we think actually we need a uh, I'm a friend of Ironman, we need to have a system like I am in Java to help us to do the work. So we have bigger vision. So we name the product as Java. Now Java have a, a, a six, uh, sorry, uh, it's about a five years old kit. So it has a, a English version, Chinese version, and Japanese version. It also support the maps, support the um, corporate profile management. So the basic actually, I think many, many, uh, brick and the before is also the system on, on the PC, on the tablet, on the iPhone, on the phone. For the data security, we are very, very concerned. So uh, we developed a system based on a very secure firm, so it can protect us from uh, with the antivirus, with the uh, anti anti network uh, NAS, uh, also have a security service. We also support a uh, dual sign on on the system. For the basic uh, um, CD feature, we also compile the, um, I think, the minimum requirement on that. So you support the uh, ISO workflow, you can display and show all the big model on the markup, communication, and also can uh, uh, share the data with all the users. So, what is our advantage as a local vendor? We do some a study. I think uh, before all the vendors show a very good presentation. So what is our advantage? I think there's two points. First, uh, we are local from here. So we want to provide the best service to our customers. So first, for the most complaint or for the whole system is the speed is too low. So we spend a long time on study how I can help our user to get the data very, very quickly. 
So now we have an AI system to help us to share the data right from the chatbot. And then we have a very good uh, system, a uh, very good network to let the users to download the megabyte file or save the megabyte file in very seconds and open it. Okay. So, to reflect the productivity of the user improve a lot. Of course, there's a lot of the requirement that uh, in the survey. And uh, most of the vendor we have the default users also uh, covered about. So, I don't want to waste much more time. We'll cover it again. So I want to spend a little bit time on how beyond CDE. Of course, CDE is very good on single source. And with the single source of information, we can carry our job and do a lot of study on, on the project. So this is a, a lot of item in on CDE that we have uh, from our, uh, the requirement is from our user. Actually, a lot of users from the mainland China and other regions, they have a lot of two projects still running on, on the market. So they think how to leverage the digital technology to support their 2D workloads. So one of them, we're using the CD workload for study their 2D category. So we're using an AI system to learn what content inside their 2D drawing. So we system to study it. And because there's still a lot of 2D checking workflow, so we Find the 2D item that drawn out the 2D checking list. So this is a 2D checklist based on the drawing on based on the content inside the 2D drawings. So the system can automatically learn what the check into for it to apply for this drawing. Actually, in the future, AI can be further applied to learn from the human being how the people can check the item inside there. So with the AI, we can also put some part of the workflow into the CDE for stimulus our very complicated project. And then what we do a lot before, uh, a lot of ago, is uh, we need to integrate all the data. So we using the chatbot. This is the chatbot in the line. It's the hotline line and the chat, and in the future in the WhatsApp. So in the chatbot, we can call all the data from the chatbot directly. So we can draw it in form or a CCTV or a data from the site. You just ask the chatbot inside the app. Drivers can give me the data of how many workers on the site, or drivers can use give me the data of people of drugs. It will show you directly. So we can have a very quick support for the user to get the data he required to solve the daily consumption problem, the daily problem they were facing. The final one we are using is, uh, I think that some uh, speaker before also talked about three old six old photos. We do a long study on that uh, because we found the whole BIM model is for designs. So we are going to do a very, design job, very good design coordination and then we pin out the drawing on the model. The site, how we control it, how we pass data to FM so that the system user can use our data very easily. Instead of over a big thing model, they are not learned about it. They are not used for it. So we start using a parameter photo to get the photo from the this kind of this six old camera. And we do the AI learning. So from the AI learning, we get a drawing shape from the photo. Then we can automatically link with our big model. So inside this system, we can very easily to link the big and the actual site. And find out the problem that happened on site day. And mark up through the system can tell the contractor, can tell the maintenance uh, workers, or can tell the, 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 the manager how the problem can be solved using this kind of solution. And this is also very great because uh, we find this is very useful, especially in the COVID time. You can just sit inside your PC and then you can remotely support your property. Um, through this kind of uh, distant connected space. So now this technology is applied in some retail shop now, some site now, and also some facet management in the factory. So thank you everyone. Uh, if you have any uh, problem and further, we can discuss later. Thank you. Thank you.